Today we're going to look at how can you raise the accountability of people on your team. What you want to do is look at first what may be disrupting or holding people back from taking accountability. For example, if people see that the cost of making a mistake is greater than the cost of covering it up, they'll prefer to cover it up. Now, what are some of the things that can make the cost of making a mistake greater than the cost of covering it up? If I know that I come to you with the problem or issue, and the first thing you're going to do is blow up at me and become emotional and angry at me, the cost for me bringing up that mistake is huge. So even if you verbally say to me, bring bad news to me fast, come here, I'll deal with it with you, I know I first have to live through the lamb blast, and that's not going to be comfortable. So holding on to it, sitting on it for a while, talking to other people, trying to figure out how to cover it up is going to be much more comfortable for me. So here's what I'd like you to do. Sit down with your team. You've got to be able to talk to them candidly about what you want to do and how you see accountability. Make sure you have clear principles and values and that they know what those are and that you not only speak them, but you live them. Everything's coordinated. If you know you have shortfalls, for example, you know you are emotional and you will do an outburst, admit that to the group. Then tell them clearly how to deal with that. What they need to know is even if you have that emotional outburst, what they need to hear from you is I will always respect you more for having come to me and tell me about the problem than I will for me having to find out the problem on my own. So even though I'll get upset, I'll blow up, tell me the news, say give me five minutes, walk out my door, and then let me deal with it. I'll always respect you more. You have to tell them how to deal with that. What you cannot do is ever allow the accountability between people on your team differ. For example, if you allow Bill to do something over and over that's wrong, but because he's been here a long time, you give him that latitude, but someone knew you're going to hold them accountable for not doing that, that won't be fair. You no longer have a principle or a value for accountability that's consistent. You need to look at how do you build that consistency, how do they hold you accountable for it, and how do you hold them accountable, and what are the consequences of not. Only then will you truly have a team that will live up to accountability at the highest level. May you go forth and have a great outcome-focused day filled with fabulous results.